Over the course of the last year, I've bought a number of different types of microphones because I didn't really know what I was doing when I started. And to be honest with you, I really don't know what I'm doing now either. But from a microphone point of view, I've tried Shotgun, which is a tax star. I've tried the Rode uh, Video Go, which is the new wireless ones. It's kind of like a lav mic without having the, the clip on lav bit, which we're also going to try. And finally, we're going to try this, which is the Blue um, blue Yeti microphone. Is that right, Chats? Yes, it is the Yeti Nano. Oh, the Yeti Nano. Okay. And we're also going to try one other, which is the on-camera microphone. And for that, we're going to use the Canon M50, which is over there. And uh, that is the fan cam. So we all use that one. So Amelia uses that. And Charles uses that. And uh, at the moment on this camera, we're using Canon EOS R. That's the M50. But we're going to go basic settings, out of the box settings, auto, uh, on the microphones, which I know you shouldn't do. You should really set them up properly uh, and you can get the best from them in that way. But we're going to go auto settings on both the cameras and the microphones for this experiment and see really what's the best for this particular style of YouTube video. We're going to hopefully use uh, Charles and Amelia for this little experiment. Hello. And Charles has his own YouTube channel. He does that for uh, gaming and Amelia has her own YouTube channel for... I don't really know how to describe it. Makeup whilst... It's just random things. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to set it up uh, we're going to first of all start with the shotgun microphone. This is going to be connected to the M50. At the moment what you're hearing is very very uh, basic in terms of it's the standard out of camera uh, microphones which in some cer certain cases might be okay but you're probably detecting that it's a little bit echoey and that's because we are in the worst scenario with no soft furnishings no cushions, no blankets, no nothing, no muffling of the sound. Alright, so this is what we're using right now, and it is the Taxstar SGC598. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a shotgun microphone, which is just on top of it, on top of the camera in the hot shoe, which is where the flash normally goes. And uh, it's, it's set to standard levels, as I said before. And it's, it's okay, but I guess you can still hear the echoes in here, but it's good because you can hear everybody. So Amelia just uploaded a video today and uh, it's just gone live. It's about... It's about having a self-care day, so you can go check it out. All right, we'll link that one below as well so you can find that one yourselves. And um, okay, so the difference with this microphone is it does for more people. So if you're in this kind of style, you can be close up to it, you can be further away from it, but it can and does pick up some more echo. So these are the Rode Wireless Goes. One of them goes on the hot shoe on the camera and the other one clips onto yourself. It has a tiny little microphone on the top. And again, setting standard. The, the, challenge with these is, is if you're in a t-shirt like this and you put it on the front, is that? And that's the problem. Look, it hangs off, it looks awkward, it is awkward, it's probably going to sound okay, but I can flip it around and do it on the inside, but it's a real faff and it really looks bad. So I'm going to change the t-shirt because there's one of the downsides of having one of these. Um, so now I've got the uh, the wireless go on. It's it's here. It's a little bit more discreet, especially when I'm wearing something dark. You probably wouldn't have it on the outside like this. You would probably switch that around and have it on the inside. So again, it's even more discreet. Um, the benefit of having this microphone is that you can hear me much more clearly. It gets rid of a lot, lot of the echo. But the downside to it is that when these two guys uh, and girls are speaking, you can't hear them as well because the microphone's trying to pick up me. It's a lot closer to me. So if you guys want to speak, Charles. Hello, how are you? I'm good. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> the sky? Yes, yeah, so, so. Amelia, what's your channel about in general? Um, lifestyle vlogs. 
Okay, let's get. My mind's about gaming. So you may be picking it up, but now if I walk off camera or go further away, so I'm now going to walk off camera and I'm going to go that away. So you can probably still hear me uh, as good as it was as I was sitting at the table there. Now I'm about 10, 15 meters away. That's one of the, the major benefits and downsides to one of these uh, lavalier mics because I could be going to the toilet and you could be hearing me. And <laughs> on the flip side, I could be doing something on camera which I want to uh, show you, which is further away from the microphone. But yeah, you can still hear me really well. The downside is, the other downside is, you can't hear the other people in the room. And you also can't hear, if I'm doing an unboxing or something, you can't hear uh, all the packaging as I'm opening it and things like that, because it's really focused on my, on my mouth. So this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this to Charles. Hello. And this is the little lavalier microphone that connects to this, to uh, the uh, wireless go. So we can both be talking. Alright. So guys, we interrupt this video by saying that um, what we're just about to do when we plugged uh, it, the adapt This, the Smart Lab Plus. Into the Rode microphone that we're using right now. Yeah, the Go. The Rode Smart. Go. Go. <laughs> that one that we said earlier anyway. Um, and it doesn't work for some reason. Well, we know the reason because my dad researched it and uh, we figured out that we need an adapter. Plugging the Smart Lab Plus does not work directly into the Smart Go Wireless Go, the Rode version. So what we had to do was buy an adapter, did a little bit of research, which is this, which is the SC3 by Rode. It came the next day, haven't tried it yet, hoping this is gonna work. Now, there are microphones that they do on their website uh, as a company, Rode, uh, that do plug directly in without having this. So just be aware that we didn't need to uh, get the more expensive one. But on the plus side, this Smart Love Plus can connect directly into a, an, a phone. So whether it's an iPhone or um, whatever, as long as you've got one of these connectors, a, a phono type connector with the three, um, I actually wouldn't even see that inside. One of these ones. So we are gonna try it. So Take let's try box. it again. Here we go, a little test. So Charles has got, Oh yeah, we need to take out the box. Yeah, we need to take out the adapter, or is it one work? Good, um, good call. Just pull, we do like an pull, unbox can or something? Just pull that up. Oh. Okay. All right, that's it's, it. It's pretty small. That's all it is. It's just, uh, just a little. So we're going to plug this uh, onto that, if you want to stick that sure. on yourself. I don't know how different this is going to sound at the moment, because what we've got is this. Uh, basically on the table, just in front of us. Cool. All right. right. Hold on. So, we're about to plug it in. Right. Now. All right. Now, Does it work? That may well have gone quiet. If it's gone quiet, then it looks like I'm trying to mime, but I'm not. I am actually talking. So, is it working? Yeah. 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 Is it working? All right. <laughs> awesome. So, this is the uh, Smart Lab Plus connected to the Smart... Smart Go Wireless, Smart Go Wireless, Wireless Go, and it seems to be working okay. Now, Charles, do, just a little experiment. You wouldn't even know where I was, but you can hear me fine. What if I go behind a wall? Can you still hear me? Please. Dad, they can't hear you. Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> Come back. He's just chatting away. No, what if I don't want to? Come back. <laughs> He's just chatting away to the camera. Ah! Hello. So the benefit of using this is you don't actually have to go that close to it. Is that, what is the benefit? It's uh, smaller and lighter. It is, it's a little bit more discreet, which I, I like that. Um, you know, having something with, that's showing all the time or is something big that's hanging your t-shirt down, it doesn't look so great. But anyway, uh, back to the video. <laughs> Right, so we've now set up the Blue Yeti Nano, and this is it here. You can see that. Now the downside to this one is that it has a USB cable connected to uh, a MacBook in this case, but a computer it does need. As far as I know, that's what it needs. 
So there's two settings on this microphone and uh, one is for this all round type scenario and the other one is more for uh, when you're talking straightly, uh, straight to it, just one person. So if I just press that button on here now. Um, you should only be able to hear me or better and then if I turn it around. Maybe you can hear me better, but if I carry on talking and turn it round, uh, you may be able to hear that it's slightly different now. Maybe, maybe not. Amelia? Hi. Uh, and I'll just change it back because this is the best setting for, for a kind of interview type uh, video. Another thing when you're using one of these microphones, which is the, the standalone USB type, very good that they are, you have to then take the audio out separately from the camera. So now we need to, to merge those together within iMovie, which we use, or whatever software you might use for your videos. Um, so yeah, it just adds another whole step to your video, uh, YouTube videos. So I hope that's been really useful for you. It's certainly been a learning curve for all of us, and uh, we're still learning, and I'm sure there'll be more purchases of gadgets and toys and, and things that will help our videos in future. If you like this, please click the like button. Uh, if you really like it, then subscribe and uh, who knows what's coming up on the next video. I don't even know yet, but it will be something gadget related, either a review, an unbox or just something that I think is really interesting and useful and might be useful for you as well, especially if you're starting out on YouTube channels. So thanks again. Thank you, you two. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Sub to which it's ironic. Bye. 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 And three, two, one, action! Smiley. <laughs> you got this. I was about to do it. So we got an adapt. So my <laughs> so my dad started researching. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's good, it's man. It's Don't worry good. about it. It's all fine. fine. Shoot. Do well. Yeah. Right, just put it in your pocket. I I did. Right in there. It's in. Hello. So the benefit of using this... He doesn't actually know I'm recording right now, so tad a surprise! Um... I'm out. Whoa! It works! Let's go! I'm gone! The dummy bum. No, 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 it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> um, wait, what is yeah, it? Let me just try No, 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 it's fine, don't <laughs> worry. My go! No. We like this one. We like this bit of kit.